This morning, CNBC reporting Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy are meeting with Republican lawmakers next month, the December 5th meeting focusing on government reform. This comes after President-elect Trump named both men to lead a new advisory committee called the Department of Government Efficiency, or DOGE for short. Right now, Iowa Senator Joni Ernst is leading the effort on Capitol Hill. She's already provided some proposals to Musk and Ramaswamy, but experts say turning it into action is hard and often not practical. Two of President-elect Trump's wealthiest supporters say they know how to cut trillions from the federal budget. In a recent op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy say they can do it by cutting regulations and laying off government workers they deem unnecessary. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst, who's leading the Senate caucus working with the duo, say this is an opportunity she has waited a long time for. I went to Washington, D.C. to make them squeal. So there is a lot of low-hanging fruit. In a letter, Senator Ernst proposing roughly a trillion dollars in cuts, focusing on contracts awarded for many items she feels do not help Americans. We hand off the money to these institutions and agencies, expecting that they will have the proper oversight and make sure that the work that's being done is for the benefit of the American people. But there are hurdles. While Musk and Ramaswamy say they will focus on executive actions President-elect Trump can take, experts say recent Supreme Court rulings do not provide that power giving it instead to the Congress and the judicial branch. Howard Gleckman of the Urban Institute says all of this has been tried dozens of times over more than a century. And the truth is most of them don't accomplish anything. They're just a waste of everybody's time and a waste of money. So if I were in charge of it, I'd probably shut it down. Senator Ernst says she wants to take a broader approach to the problem. I think every agency across federal government can stand to trim back the fat. The combat veteran says that includes spending on national defense, something Gleckman agrees with. Another place we could look at saving money, if that's what we want to do, is procurement. Uh, Pentagon procurement is outrageously expensive. Ultimately, Gleckman feels the only way to make meaningful cuts is to look at the biggest costs, defense and the third rail of politics, entitlements. So the joke is that the federal government is an insurance company with an army. And, and that's not entirely wrong. Um, a significant share, more than half of all federal spending, goes to programs like Medicare and Social Security, the, the Veterans Administration, and of course, interest on the debt, which we have to pay. Gleckman says although there's little that can be saved from Social Security, Medicare is one entitlement that deserves a rethink. Remember that Medicare payments don't go to old people. Medicare payments go to doctors and hospitals, and nursing homes and, and, and other providers. Now in the last decade, the lowest federal deficit came in 2015 during the Obama administration. Trump's tax cuts helped balloon the deficit before it exploded because of the pandemic response. Overall, the annual deficit has climbed with projections showing it will continue to climb over the next 10 years.